Hi, I'm going to talk to you a little about shield punching here. Um, I just got done doing a bit of a pro fight demo with my buddy Mikey and figure while I'm in armor. I'm going to go over what I was talking about in my blog, how shield punching in kit is not like punching normally. So kind of show you uh, what a normal punch looks like. Normally, we, when we throw a punch, we sit here and it just kind of comes straight out, right? If it, this is my jab. It's just gonna come out, and you can already see it's kind of binding because of uh, how my elbow's sitting and how my shoulder's sitting. Your kit might not bind as much as mine. You might have it a little bit looser. You might have uh, the better fit um, due to getting it custom, but you'll still find that it doesn't quite come straight out. Like one of the things I'm finding it binds in here is I try to keep my elbow in. Normally when you're doing boxing, you're in nice and tight can't quite do that it just adds a little bit of pressure so you almost naturally end up with your elbow a little bit wider and if this were straight it's kind of the same thing I'm kind of firing down this center line and I get a little bind you can see my shoulders popping into my my neck there and these shoulders are actually um, are actually uh, pointed out wide so like yours if they're pointed closer so they actually protect your collarbone in the way mine doesn't it's really gonna bind in when you come in here especially with a helmet so you don't you can't get that nice straight motion uh, and when you got a shield you get a lot of bind I can't I can't stand in here I almost have to hold it out here ready to go maybe maybe in a bladed stance I'm sitting out here or I'm sitting here just really ready to fire and I'm firing by throwing my whole body behind it and I also really have to rotate my arm over to get this point when I just fire my uh, my arm out straight there's not really I don't really have to force the rotation it just kind of comes out with the shield strapped the way it is you really have to over rotate to get that and it it's kind of put forcing um, it wants to force your arm open so you got to turn it a little bit more really engaging the muscles so in order to throw that instead of trying to come straight out like this we're gonna throw it more as a loop Kind of like an overhand or almost like a wild haymaker so you're gonna come and you're gonna come out wide and you want to throw kind of up and once you get it up you can kind of let the weight of your arm and the weight of the shield bring it down so you come in and really normally when we throw us all right we're in our stance we're just gonna we're in our stance we're just gonna rock the hips um to get that punch out when we throw with the shield we want to take a big step with it so we get our whole body, we get all of this weight of our armor into that punch. Um, otherwise, you're just not getting any power. It's just gonna brush against their head. The other difference, um, Mikey, do you mind coming out here? I'm not actually gonna punch you. Um, so in, in armor, when we're punching, this, I, I, I am gonna punch you, it's just real soft. Uh, it kinda stops at the edge of, of the armor. It doesn't really, it's not gonna do anything He's not really gonna feel that, um, the impact. So instead, what I'm trying to do, is I'm trying to push him with it. I'm trying to move him. Particularly, I wanna move his head offline. Thank you. So, when I throw that punch, I'm coming up and I'm extending past my point, right? If this is right here where I'm gonna be punching into, instead of trying to impact with it, a nice solid snap that you get with a jab or a cross, I wanna drive through it forcing my opponent back um, that's gonna do more to disorient them honestly it's gonna do more to, to knock them out we're not we're not causing enough damage to the head uh, or to the jaw to knock them out we're just causing their sort of body to panic and shut down when we knock someone out most of the time so if you're bending their body back like that that might do it especially if it's over the rail so really want to overextend on that punch um, from the other side it's up and over and down so anyway point is train boxing learn how to actually throw a punch right but when you when you come and throw it in kit particularly if you're doing it with a strap shield this doesn't apply as much with bucklers it doesn't apply with your gauntlet's hand as much but with this strap shield it's out to the side with your almost like you're throwing a hook with your hands down and then straight through so Anyway, that's how you throw a shield punch.